following production of the Bank Cartoon Radio Hour contains fictional material used strictly for satirical and comedic purposes, and it should not be accepted as being factual, and all voices are impersonated. Welcome! You! Bang Cartoon Radio. It's huge when it comes to learning a new guy's rear end. Oh, put stop it! I know what, the National what, Football League. What, 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 please? Sometimes they arrive and they smell like sex. That's how we do it. Bang Cartoon Look here, things need to be done around here. A lot of people have picked us to put in on seat, and rightfully so. Welcome to the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. I did my job! I showed up! I, I know. And now, here's John and Tom. I know, yeah. You understand, you're chilling in the strip club, there's noise around, there's strippers around, people preoccupied with stuff, all of that stuff going on, and somehow, some way, you have evidence that he said something? I mean, I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not buying that portion of it. That's very difficult for okay. me to comprehend, you, based on that, that environment. Them. That's right, Stephen A., defend Pac-Man. Are you calling me out, nigga? <laughs> nah, uh, right out the chute. Huh? Right out of the chute. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, this is all circumstantial stuff, man. Oh, yeah. But damn, if we don't love it here, don't we? That's that's right. <laughs> I do love it. I do. You know, and he, he he had a couple of interviews over the weekend, and I'm not even going to play any audio from him because they're just not worth it, but uh, said he might might be back in Dallas. And I'm going, what? Well, there are more strip bars in Dallas than in any other city well, in the that's, country, right? that's true. That's probably Doesn't where mean he wants to. mean he'll be a cowboy. To. Uh well, no, that's what he meant. He was talking about the Cowboys, and uh, I, maybe he does want... I don't know. Maybe we should ask him. Maybe we should call him up. Well, uh, by all means, we haven't broken out the magic phone in a long time. Let's blow some dust off of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It has been a while. All right. Um, yeah, let's call him up. What the fuck? Hello? Uh, Adam Jones. Yo. Yo. <laughs> No, man, I ain't no Adam Jones no more, and I didn't work. You know, I tried to make everybody think that I was nice and respectable, but look where it got me, goddammit. My name is Pac-Man. All right, Pac-Man. Well, that's what that's what I was going to say next. I'm Tom, and along with my partner, John, from the Bang Cartoon Radio Hour. How you doing, man? I heard of y'all. You have? I heard of y'all. I heard y'all making fun of me. I heard y'all put me in a big wheel of cheese trying to make it look like my car. Hey, we, we just made you a star on our show, man. That was well, all. Was, look, I, I ain't saying I'd ever have somebody come down and shoot your ass, but... Don't be pissing me off. Oh, okay, I don't want to do that. I don't want. You got to be careful with that stuff, man. You know, uh, hey, Stephen A. wanted to say something to you. Bottom line is, if you sat there and there's proof that you told somebody to shoot somebody, oh, that's man. far, far more serious than making it rain in a strip club. Right. Man, come on now. This is just some bullshit, huh? Look, man, you ain't ever been sitting around the front of yours and say, man, you see that motherfucker over there? Go shoot his ass. You ain't never done that? Uh, n- can't recall it, no. And it happened to me almost every day. Oh, is that right? Every time I, man, I go to the grocery store, somebody get in line in front of me, they got one. What? Hey, look here, lady. It's like 12 items, goddammit. I see 14. You turn around to the man next to you and say, man, you had a gun. I tell you to shoot her ass. But you didn't pay somebody to have someone shot, right? No, I didn't pay nobody nothing. I just told him I was going to pay him. I wasn't going to give that chump ass punk nothing. Yeah. <laughs> is that you know right? how this shit work, man? You say, look, man, I'll give you, I'll give you this much. You go shoot that dude. And then after you shoot the dude, you say, man, I don't even know this dude. I don't even know this guy. You call the police. Say, I don't know who shot him. Right. Yeah, well, no, nah, that ain't how you do it. I was going to, nah, I didn't do nothing, man. Right. All right. Well, I, I didn't do nothing. I know there's, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of strip clubs down there in Dallas. There's 649. What's that, Stephen A.? Now, it's very unfortunate what happened in that strip club. Well, yeah. It's unfortunate for him. What? <laughs> but I understand you would like to stay in Dallas. Is that true? Shit. 649 strip clubs. You hear what I'm saying, yo? Okay. All Hell right. yeah, man. I'm going to stay in Dallas. I damn right I'm going to stay in Dallas. I mean, shit. What other team's going to, to hire me to play for them? Oakland. Oakland? Who wants to play in Oakland? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to play at Oakland? Well, I got you, nothing going on over there in Oakland. I'm staying around here in, in damn Dallas, man. I got me an offer for a bouncer job over at the Big Jug Club, man. I'm going to go down there. What kind of champion do you know acts like that? Shit. That's a goddamn Lawrence Taylor. 
No, yeah. Taylor act like that. <laughs> no, it's motherfucking Taylor act like that. And look what him he is. He's in the Hall of Fame. They should put me in the Hall of Fame. They put Michael Irvin in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they put Michael Irvin in the Hall of Fame. But now they're going to run me on out the NFL. It's some bullshit. That's what that is. I ought to pay somebody to go shoot Adam Goodell in the head. I what? mean, Roger Goodell in the head. Now, don't say those things, man. That's what got you in this predicament in the first place. Man, we just joking around, right? Seriously, though, man, how much would it cost for you to go shoot Roger Goodell? All right, stop, stop, Pac, man. Tell me something. If you if you can't go play in Dallas, where where do you think you could play? Canada. Canada? Mexico. But there's other teams besides the Cowboys in the NFL. I know, man, but see, after you shoot the commissioner in the head, you got to leave the country, you oh, know? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go play in Mexico City. <laughs> all right, well. With the alpacas. Well, what if you can't play football at all? Then what are you going to do? Uh. Shit, I don't know. I think I could probably hang around on the corner pretty good. I could probably get that job. Like I said, I could be the bouncer down at the Big Jug Club down on there, 14th Street. Right. I could do that. I could. Uh, I could sell drugs. I got to sell know drugs. Lee what do you? I, mean, I, got to, I got to know Nate Newton while I was here in Dallas. He could hook me up with somebody. Oh my lord, Pac Man, you just, you haven't learned any lessons at all, have you? Man, I didn't learn shit. I went to West Virginia University. Man, this is what I do. Watch your tone because you sound like Skip right now. Yeah. I sound like Skip. I ought to shoot him. I ought to pay somebody else to shoot him for calling me that. That's just like calling somebody gay. You know, if you go to prison these days, man, and you use a bitch, that's what they call you now. You're the Skippy. A Skippy. You're the Skippy. You're the Spitter. The Spitter. <laughs> All right, Pac-Man. Yeah, I'm going to try to get on ESPN, man. You think I could be like a, I could be like a, like a motherfucking analyst and shit? Well, I know for a fact that John and I would definitely watch. Oh, hell yeah, man. The whole country watch. I could come up with some wild ass shit to be saying about some stuff. Watch this. Here, uh, uh, yo, this here be motherfucking Pac Man for Fox Sports reporting. Motherfucking Jeff Fisher's a faggot, yo. <laughs> there you go. See, right there's a scoop. There you That's go. what you call a motherfucking scoop. Pam Oliver ain't going to tell you that, is she? No, she won't. Well, I would, no. I would love Jeff to. Jeff Fisher's a homo. I seen him when I played for the Titans. He was in the shower doing something with fucking Steve McNair. But I didn't tell nobody that because oh, they paid me a lot now. of money. Oh, come on, Pac Man. You can't be saying stuff like that. Oh, man. Come on now. <laughs> what they going to do? Throw me out the motherfucking league? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, man. Well, listen, uh, I, I would like to see you get back to 100% and be in Dallas and be a productive player for the Cowboys. But, man, you got to stay out of trouble. You can't be talking about having people shot. Yeah, but you know what? Till then, uh, Miss Titty McClure is going to be dancing on Thursday nights down at the Big Jug Club on 14th Street. Come on down. If you get down between 8 and 10 o'clock, tell them you know Pac-Man. I'll let you in the door half cover, all right? All right, Pac-Man. Take care, all man. Right, yo. Wow. How that about so that? Funny. You can't even talk to that guy. <laughs> Dude, you start to ask him a question, and he's already got the answer in his head before you even ask the question. He's going to answer it. It's amazing, isn't it? It's almost like he's got his, his attorney sitting beside him telling him what to say. <laughs> you know, it's interesting, though, man, because, you know, we're on the Internet, so he can say what's on his mind. Right. You know, <laughs> just between you and me, I'm having a hard time right now not saying he can say what's on his motherfucking mind. I got to <laughs> drop out of character here. Yeah, man, he can say what's ever on his mind. He can't say that to James Brown on Fox, or I mean on CBS, or whatever channel he's on. This is the forty-four Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world. And it could blow your head clean off. Right, that's what he wants to say. <laughs> dirty Adam. <laughs> dirty Pac-Man. Yeah, Dirty Adam, there you go. <laughs> All you right, man. Is you feeling little, the motherfucking lucky poke? <laughs> Jesus. We uh, we almost had, for the first time in NFL history, all four road teams win in the divisional playoff round. That was uh, there was some good football and and it's good playoffs so far. I think I just don't like the Eagles in it. I hmm. I just got it. I, I'm just scared to death, John. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb right now and say whoever wins the AFC Championship, you give them the trophy. Yeah, right? those two defenses are just going to destroy either one of those offenses. I hope you're right. I think so. Because but then again, I have completely, just like the rest of the country, misjudged Arizona. That defensive coordinator is a friggin' genius, Tom. <laughs> I'm telling you what, man. He is a friggin' genius. I mean, for one, against Atlanta, they were jumping that snap count like no tomorrow. Right. right. Now, this is all old news. Everybody's heard about this already. Right. And against uh, uh, Carolina, he spotted something on the plane flying over there on the game film, put it in, and they picked him off four times. What, what made Delo turn it over five times, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Impressive. Now you got a hundred bucks. You have to bet it. Ravens or Steelers? Give me the Ravens. Give me the hot hand. I like them too. I don't know why, but I, and you know because you talk about the hot hand. My God, Willie Parker's the hot hand. Yeah, he's running the ball really well right now, but that Ravens defense is hot. And Flacco over Roethlisberger right now. I gotta say, I gotta say, man, Flacco right now is playing. He gives me more confidence than Roethlisberger. I tell you what, watching that game last week though, I think Roethlisberger's shoulder was a little more banged up than they maybe let on during the regular season because he was throwing some beautiful bullets on Sunday, man. Man, there's gonna it's gonna get banged up again. Yeah, you know who should be in the Pro Bowl more than a third alternate is Derek Mason.